An object is detected using the machine learning model which gives the top left and bottom right coordinates of the object. Using these, I calculated the coordinates of center of the object and placed this red dot. Now these center coordinates can be used to calculate the deviation of the object from the center of the frame. These x and y values denotes this deviation from center of the frame. When the object moves within the frame its deviation from the center of frame changes. If any of the deviation value is beyond the tolerance value, then the motion command is generated and the robot is moved in order to minimize this deviation. When the center of the object is within the tolerance zone, the deviation becomes less than the tolerance value and the robot stops moving. Also, the status changes to acquired. Speed of the robot is set dynamically during runtime. Farther the object from the center of the frame, more is the speed. Similarly, when the object is closer, the speed value decreases. By changing this tolerance value, we can change the size of the tolerance zone. Larger the tolerance zone, sooner the robot will acquire the object but with reduced accuracy. In case the tolerance zone is too small, the robot may never acquire the object and will continue to hunt forever. This is where the code is placed in Raspberry Pi. This Python file implements object tracking. The source code is uploaded on GitHub. You can download the code from the link provided in description below. Stay tuned for more videos on robotics, 
with AI and machine learning, Internet of Things, and Home Automation. Thanks for watching.